No, I haven't been crying. I've just been running in the rain. So let's catch up because I didn't give you a vlog yesterday because I only literally filmed about less than 20 seconds all day. So as you know from Saturday's vlog, I went up to Boyos on the weekend and this weekend was like quite an important weekend because um, I met his two children and I met his Nana and I met one of his sisters. <laughs> so that was a really like, I really enjoyed myself but like I felt like under pressure for the whole weekend as well, do you know what I mean? Because obviously you want to give yourself, like you want to give off a good first impression. So I was like on 10 ducks all weekend. I got home last night and I was like, oh no, have I done it right? <laughs> I was like worrying if I was like, do you know what I mean? Like if I was like good enough or whatever, as you do. And like, um, just because you want it to go well, I suppose. So I wasn't in a great mood last night. I was like, oh, oh dear. And then I woke up and I was still in a bit of a crappy mood. And it's absolutely, well, it's absolutely throwing it down. It keeps throwing it down in like heavy rain showers and now it's just lightly raining. And I put a Snapchat up this morning. And I was like, oh, shall I go for a run? Or shall I go shopping for a dress for this wedding? Because I still haven't got one. And I was like, oh, I'll go for a run because uh, Andrew made a roast dinner yesterday and it's like uh, the biggest roast dinner I've had since maybe before I was pregnant. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, it is huge. So he chickened out and didn't eat most of it. I ate all of mine, I had a clean plate, so well impressed. But then when I got home last night, I just had fruit for dinner, but I may as well just had a dinner because I had about like six plums, six kiwi fruits, and three tins of pineapple so I may as well have just had like a big salad <laughs> or something like that so never mind no fruit left in the house whatsoever so I can't even have a banana or anything now when I get back from my run which I hate but um yeah I'm gonna jump in the shower and probably contemplate life a little bit more <laughs> and then get out as soon as my foot, no actually, I'm going to start from now, I was going to say as soon as my foot gets out of that shower, you'll be happy for the rest of the day. I'm going to make that extension from right here. <laughs> I'm going to be happy for the rest of the day from now. And I'm not going to contemplate life in the shower, I'm just going to fucking wash my hair. So, <laughs> I'll wash the shit off my face. And then, don't know what I'll do then, I think I might chill my beans, make a cup of tea, standard and watch some Pretty Little Liars. I'm gonna force myself to get through the first season. I hope they don't leave me on like a ridiculously stupid cliffhanger because there's so much going on in it at the moment. I'm just like, I don't know where this is going. Like, I'm not sure if I can get into it or not. I've got one episode left of that OJ Simpson thing because we watched two episodes while we were down at his. I fell asleep during one of them. Whoops. So I rewatched that last night. One episode left, so hopefully watch that next weekend or something. But yeah, sorry for the lack of vloggage yesterday, because it's kind of like a private day, I suppose, because I'm cool with vlogging my children, my children, my child, but like, I'm not sure if you should just automatically assume that that is okay for other people's children, etc. So, yeah, fun times. I shall um, catch up with you later when I look less hanging and I'm not so athletically dressed, I suppose. Don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, so just got back from my Aldi food shop, so I suppose that means it's an Aldi food haul time. This bag. Just one bag of salad today for my salad Tuesdays, um, because I've got lots of stuff in the fridge already for stir fry, so I'll be having a stir fry this evening. Basics. Um, 
April tops, pence. Finally, remember to pick up some cotton pads. I've been scrimping and scraping out of my travel cotton pads um, because I've run out halfway through the week. So it's good to get some of those back in. Beetroot, something that I forgot to pick up last week also. Garlic, again, something I forgot to pick up last week. Bean sprouts, nom nom. -a. Corn sausages, lemon lovely. Corn chicken pieces, so, so easy to cut. Corn chicken nuggets, Holly absolutely loves them. And corn mints, it's just super, super easy to cut. Deodorant, because I absolutely burn through it, so I'm basically picking up a can every week. Sharon Foods, 95 pence. Airwaves, can't live without chewing gum. Two panets of nectarines because these are on the super six. So every week or every couple of weeks, um, Aldi's has this thing at the end of the aisle called super six. And there's six fruit and veg. So either three fruit and three veg or all three veg or all three fruit are on offer. They're basically like so, so cheap. So a panet of these was like 45 pence. So I picked up two um two packets of red grapes standard procedure and the what are these the large flat mushrooms these are in the super six as well um nop cent greek style yogurt and a bag of porridge because my current one is running quite low and life without porridge is just rubbish in this household. If I do not have my bowl of porridge to start the day, you better look out because it's a rubbish one. Second bag then. Iceberg lettuce, bananas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17 bananas this week because they're a bit bigger, but I can't remember how many bananas I bought last week. It was just insane. Um, hot chocolate. I think I'm all right for hot chocolate. I bought this because I couldn't remember how much was left in my pot, so I think we're good for a couple of weeks. Um, a jar of creamy tomato pasta bake because that's really nice for Holly as a treat every now and then. It's yummy, easy to do. Baby corn, amazing for stir fries. Kiwi fruits, 50 pence for six of them. Can't go wrong with that. Cucumber, I forgot to pick up last week also. Um, and salad tomatoes, which are all steamed up for some reason. And some skimmed milk for moi. And then uh, last bag. A margarita pizza for Holly. I've never ever bought her pizza in my life. This is the first time that I've ever bought it for her. We were at my friend Louisa's house a few weeks ago and she cooked pizza and Holly really enjoyed it. So I thought, well, that's cool. So we've got healthy chicken nuggets now because they're corn. Fish fingers are really not bad at all and they're actually a good source of omega-3. And then the pasta bake would be probably a naughty one because you've got quite a lot of cheese on that. And then this would be a naughty one as well. So. We're branching out, we're adventuring into new flavours and trying new things and stuff. And then gradually I'm going to build up to her having things like bolognese's and chilli con carnies and stuff like that. Um, because I'm making them, I've made them for her plenty of times in the past. And then she just doesn't eat any of it. And then she'll go to bed without eating and I'm not cool with that. I'd rather have her eat something that's... I wouldn't say it's unhealthy, but not as healthy, maybe, let's put it like that, because she's not having chips, I never buy chips, so she's having like beans with it, which are loaded full of protein, so there is a balance, or she's having sweet corn, or she's having peas or something, so there is a balance, I suppose, but I want to build up to the point where she's 
not having like chicken nuggets on such a regular basis, um, whether it be chicken nuggets or the corn chicken nuggets or whatever, I wanted to be able to eat new stuff. I don't want her to become fussy, but I'd rather her eat something rather than not eat it at all. So that's my logic. That's my stance on Holly's eating. So pizza. Weetabix for Holly because that's her breakfast of choice. Oh no, I forgot to pick her up golden syrup porridge for lunch. Damn it. If I'm out and about, I'll have to pick some up. Peppers, so basics, three red peppers and the green one. Rubber gloves because I've broken my other pair. Bacon medallions, haven't bought those in a long time. Two loose mangoes, these are in the super six, these were 45 pence each. I could have bought so many more, but I just go wild otherwise. Um, bleaks, satsumas, two of the fun sized apples, packets of, because these are in the super six, and I think they're like, I think they were 75 k maybe, I don't know, but they were cheaper than all the rest of the apples. A tin of baked beans, as per usual. I now don't need to buy any. I've got three tins of baked beans now. I think that will do me. I don't need to buy any next week. And a tin of chopped tomatoes. Standard procedure. And then guess what? Oh my goodness. How did I pick that up? <gasps> Look at that can of pineapple. How did they even put that through the till? How did I even not notice that? Hopefully, it's another tin that's leaked onto this tin rather than this tin leaking out. Still sounds like it's got juice in it, so that's disgusting. But anyway, that is a tin of pineapple. One, two, three, four, five tins of pineapple and a dodgy tin of pineapple, so... Huh. Sounds like it's okay. It looks like something's just spilled onto it. Ugh, a V. And then another skimmed milk for me then, because Holly's already got one defrosting now, and she's also got one in the freezer ready to go for next time, so she didn't need one. So yeah, that's my Aldi food haul. Pretty much the same stuff every week but that's how we roll we like routine in this household so yeah see you all later